Well, I got initiated in a cave the other night. I can't tell you all the details because I haven't got the right. But one thing I can tell you is it was a totem clan, a reconstructed theasos to Lucayan Pan. We gathered round a cauldron and we had a midnight feast. They were cooking up a stew made from a freshly hunted beast. It tasted quite a lot like goat, but also chewed like pork. I don't know what else was in it, but I found I couldn't walk. Each one of us was on our knees and crawling in that cave. Somebody started hollering. We all began to rave. Then the leader of the totem clan flung off his cloak and cowl. And he threw back his shaggy head and he began to howl. Then he rushed out through the cave mouth and we followed after two. We ran in frenzy through the woods and killed a deer or two. We found some better prey then in a clearing in the wood. Maybe witches, maybe druids, but you bet they tasted good. Well, you've really no idea of the sheer exhilaration of the earth beneath your paw pads and the thrilling exhortation of running with our wolf pack on an all-night woodland roam. You get the strangest feeling that you've suddenly come home. There is nothing to compare with the night breeze on your coat, with the fierce scent of the prey, and when you take it by the throat, taste the salty, bubbling lifeblood as it spurts between your jaws. Feel the cracking of the marrow bones you kill beneath your paws. There is absolutely nothing like a sleepless night in June when we run and scent and kill and feast beneath the hunter's moon. Feel that old primeval passion back from when the world began as we sit and howl our payan to Lukayam Pan. Pan Lukayos is our leader. He's the lord of all the beasts and we always take a tribute from them for our little feet. We hunt the forests of the night and then we feast till dawn in the cave under the mountain where the hidden god was born. Well, I got my taste for human, that initiation test. Just what was in that cauldron? Well, I never would have guessed. So I've gone on hunting humans, hunt them all with zeal and zest. Hunters are most fun to chase, but children taste the best. Now i got to stay a werewolf for another seven years. I eat my meat both raw and warm. I have to shave my ears. There are times you wake in bed with leaf mould stuck between your toes and bits of flesh stuck in your teeth. But that's just how it goes. There's a price you pay for anything and all things have their price. You get nothing for free. Buy what you want, is my advice. I've had to change my lifestyle, but I think you must agree. There's a lot of good things going for a total lycanthropy. For if somebody screws with you, don't bother with a spell. All you have to do is track that person by their smell. They can run, but they can't hide. And you can call the siblings in. They will hunt him. They will find him. And they'll tear him limb from limb. Say goodbye to all your stresses. Drop out of the human race. Because you've got a real community where each wolf has his place. You are free to find yourself. Do all the things you want to do. We don't take no shit from no one but a meaner wolf than you. And if any of you disapproves of me for what I am, you've a right to your opinion. I don't have to give a damn. Just leave me to my tradition now and I'll leave yours to you. Because pagans should all tolerate a different.